Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Live Learning. In this episode, I am trying the latest version of Blender 3.0 Alpha with the Geometry Nodes branch that hasn't been merged into the master. So basically, uh, this is pretty basic. So I have this cube that's been subdivided. And with this subdivided cube, uh, I'm doing this scatter of Geometry Nodes based on this components over here so this guy over here is just like a basic instancing so this with the latest version of geometry nodes some things have changed like this uh, point instance now and also point distribute have this rotations attributes so that's kind of new for me um, the scatter is the same but there's also something new like this index this index node plug into random float to make like a, this random um, extrusion. So by default, all this all this scaling is the same value. But if I use this with index plug into random float seed, I'll get a different height. So this is new, and yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, this guy aside, this guy, this little guy over here is also kind of interesting because i'm using some of the new nodes with geometry nodes um, there is there is extrude node and mesh extrude and move nodes so they are they're quite interesting and let's let's take a look okay like originally this object is just like a single single mesh object and i subdivide it over here so this is like all connected because it's procedural. Okay, so this little guy, let's say we are, we have like only four or actually 16, 16 subdivision of the, just a plain mesh. And then I extrude it. So this is a new node and I'm extruding it using this randomizations. By default, it doesn't have randomizations. It's just like simple extrude. But you can control the distance. You can control the the inset. It's very similar to sphere chalk actually. But this node, this extrude node, have this multiple slot insert. <clears throat> so that's really interesting. <clears throat> and we also have control over individual and selections. That's also something that we take a look properly uh, later in the, in another video. But this time I just want to focus on extra distance and we have this noise texture and I'm using it with the, this new position input node that I can animate. Okay, so this is really the power of procedural um, node setup. So this little guy is being controlled by this noise texture. This is also quite new with geometry nodes. So we have ability to use noise 3d noise now um, so I, I multiply this value over here that's like an extra node and I have inset that's being controlled by these randomizations there is one randomization that doesn't work is actually this one over here I, I don't know why I cannot control the, the offset here um anyhow okay after extrude the output of this node there's this selection for top face and side face this is actually really interesting especially if you are extruding just a simple plane you're extruding it up and this plane i assign two material this pink and then this blue color material so for the top face i assign it a uh, pink color and then the, for the the side face i assign it this blue light blue color okay so that's pretty simple but still this is also quite in interesting setup if you uh just for the basic setup and then for the next one i actually assign it uh i'm do i'm using this select by material i'm selecting just by a uh, material 
so you can for example you have you can have this like this object over here and you can simplify it a couple of time and with if this object have the orange and green material if you assign if you select a bunch of faces and you assign it the green material for these objects you can use geometry nodes and you can select by material so you can extrude by selection okay so this is pretty cool and it's quite new extrude. there's also move mass extrude and move same thing you can extrude the vertex actually you can extrude also face so whichever you like this is quite new so back to this guy subdivide material assign okay select by material mass extrude and move so here I was um, I was expecting to be able to offset this with random vector but so far I seem that I cannot do that uh, maybe I did something wrong somewhere here because I tried I tried plugging color there the vector doesn't change maybe it's possible anyway to do like randomizations I just don't know how it works or maybe it's still work in progress anyhow so this um, This become a single component that we can instance. You can have multiple value if you if you use seed here somewhere. Um, where's the seed that we can plug? If we use math here, we can randomize the seed, and also we can randomize here. So probably. If we want to randomize this, we can output this value. So now we can have like multiple objects like this, and then we can make variations. So this one, two, three, four can go inside a collection, move into new collections call it hair now we can go to this big guy uh, and use collections and get hair like that and this guy it's like oh yeah now it's expecting ID interesting a lot of things have changed for sure okay yeah seems now it's working as expected so now each one of these objects can have different color it doesn't change maybe because I need to specify this also 6 and 5 okay 6 and 5 
Oh, you get you get the idea. So basically, you can have multiple geometry nodes with multiple color, and you can instance into this big guy. All right, so that's the whole setup, basically with the latest ge latest geometry nodes, Blender 3.0 Alpha still being worked on, so it's branching into this uh, different Blender versions. Okay, this is the their example for this latest update. I think it's worth for you to take a look and study uh, how the nodes attributes and fields will work um, but this example with the donuts is also quite interesting you see how the noise texture is being used and being passed on into point translate point instancing and point distribute I'm not doing all that I'm only working with the extrude polygon and extrude with the material so this two new nodes and we scatter it with point instance there's a lot of a lot of new attributes like this ID thing and the seed index and also positions this is quite special hopefully I cover some areas I think this some of the parts might change again in the future but um, just yeah just keep Keep eyes on it and see how it goes uh, in the future. I think slowly geometry now starting to include some of the something some of the offerings from Svechok nodes, more or less, and also animation nodes. But the defaults will be like geometry nodes. If you ever watch my older video, I use a lot of Svechok nodes in the past. But I think slowly some of some of them for good. Um, becoming part of geometry nodes in a way so yeah hopefully yeah hopefully this is useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye